Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, I'm here. but yeah. perhaps one of the male slaves could serve. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. As you wish, mistress. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage room at the back. I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Thank you, my lady. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. I'm sorry, mistress, but the risk is too great. Davik will have me... I won't betray Davik. Of course. I'm here. What? idea of barging in here get it Pudu. Tony Rama. hey baby wait I wasn't actually going damn it uh-uh no way you're not getting out of this mess that easy
dare you invade my chambers? How rude! How can Davik expect me to invest in his vent? Well, I suppose I can forgive the intrusion in this case. Tell Davik I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. I don't require anything right now. You can tell Davik everything about my stay has been most pleasing so far. Here's a five-credit chip for your trouble, Silla. Now scurry on back to Davik. If I find I have need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect...
Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible, anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. How can I help? Can I suggest? Yeah, what do you want? You want to hear tales of my exploits, of the wars I've seen, and my name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across for my people. It is the honor and glory. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having... If there's nothing at stake, you'll... we Mandalore take everything we are and throw it in... The days of combat and glory and cheating death at times have changed now. The, the clans as they were, we only wanted the challenge, but now I have no real challenges. When I think of the battles I fought, the thousands I've killed, we will never again speak of. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or oh, Look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs dead drop and we'll kill us all.
Yes. What can I do? Hmm? Damn no shit, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Tween. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful Masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. 
I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. Come, they're expecting us. I hear that the Sith have defeated another Republic battle. You cool, cool, no, no, bam. Chi gratu, no, da, bog. Ka, chi cool, ida, ha, dong. Da, kom, jus, da. Ka, chi cool, ida, ha, dong. Da, kom, jus, da, mi. Kukuno no bab. Ka chikun ida hodonga. Jedo badwana ni di bobo. Mucho shak bak. Ka chikun ida hodonga. Ye achuta. Wonga. Jedo badwana ni di mucho shak bak. Ki ye. Kun honka bi ka chi kun ida ho donga. Dong abong shao.
Greetings, young Padawan. I trust your training goes well. My name is Belaya. I have come here to further my learning in the ways of the Force. Many Jedi come here to train under Master Ja. Any who belong to the Order should surely know this. You must be neglecting your studies, Padawan. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here. Kukumo no ba mulira. Runda di hoto. Ah. Jedu ba do. Shakpakhat. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council. waiting for you inside. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the Chronicler of our Academy, 
Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Do not worry. I am confident in your ability to learn. We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and not you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, need the... You got it. What? Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I maybe wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to me? Why, why do you even care? 
we don't have time for this, so can we... Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready? Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambush- Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced- Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must in Perhaps there you will find some clue, some... The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. Even here on Dantooine, there are the ancient grove once used for deep meditation, but the Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have the Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into... I can say no more, but remember this, my young... The dark side still taints...
Yeah? What? I'm here. <laughs>